Rated M for Mature. So at first, when we first started playing Rainbow Six, all five of us kind of wanted to be the rifle guy. It was literally just shooting. There was no tactical um, involvement. You. Almost immediately I knew like if people were doing their own thing, mainly me, it kind of ran off on myself a lot and died almost every single time. We all wanted to just go in and just take our own route. We just tried killing people ourselves and we found out soon that that doesn't work like that. And we kind of needed more of a, a team aspect. Just having more of a strategic base and just going in by yourself and wanting to have the big gun. And if you go by yourself, you will die. It's not possible. Like it literally is not possible to de like defuse the C4 while you're taking care of a suicide bomb running at you. Like you need to be with your team. I think sticking together is a very core component. Picking each other up when you die was important. Work with the team because they can revive you when you go down. And whether it be like three people staying together and the other two right staying there. together, or just the whole group staying together. I think if it's your first time playing, try to play all the roles and see what you like best. I really feel that you can find your play style. Uh, within one of these operators. We were trying them out in the different runs and some of us had special abilities that we didn't even know about and weren't even using. Some of the guys really liked picking up the shield all of a sudden and just using a pistol and they really liked that play style and some of the guys wanted to use the shotgun and all of a sudden we all switched up a little bit to find the strategy that fitted us the best. Um, so I think I would advise you to try the, all the operators and figure out which one works the best for you. Pro Rainbow Six teams will use all their tools and gadgets. Use all the guns, they have a lot of guns on all the rolls, and see what works for you, because some people are more strategic, some people are more just run and gun. Definitely there was some guns that felt a lot more powerful than other ones. I know I found one, I think it was the G2 was really accurate, mid to long range. Try to experiment with the shields a lot, because they're actually a lot of fun to, to use. Staying alive is a lot more fun than dying and watching your teammates for the last five minutes of the round. You have to go slow. You cannot, especially when you're playing on a harder setting, you can't just go running in because there's going to be C4 everywhere. There's suicide bombers that'll take you down. Taking your time, throwing a flashbang before you enter the room, or just trying to listen to the sound clues in terms of is there a, a C4 in the room? Because, you know, a lot of the times when you walk in the door, the C4 is close, somewhere that will blow you up. and. Uh, using proper teamwork to go in rather than just running in Rambo for yourself. I knew the quickest way to get into the room, I was like, guys, we can just kind of rappel up here and kick the door down and we can be in there. And then I would do that and then like, they wouldn't be there. They'd all be like on the bottom floor and then I would die. No one would just follow me. It's a little upsetting. <laughs>